Things that have carbonation and are cold, huh, the devil. Let's go. Content queen, but my crown's been tilted. I make dope shit, but y'all don't feel it. And I edit so much, I could do it in my sleep. Create so much, I can get runs in my jeans. Content queen, but my crown's been tilted. I make dope shit, but y'all don't feel it. And I edit so much, I could do it in my sleep. Create so much, I can get runs in my jeans. That's Gazi TV. Hey y'all, welcome back to Gazi TV. This is another scoliosis awareness video and today we're just gonna take a walk and I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about some of the foods that I eat and don't eat for back pain. So, first things first. If you have back pain, you need to stay away from carbonated drinks. Oh, oops, almost forgot the disclaimer. This is just my experience, this is just things that I've ingested, put into my mouth, and has affected my back in certain kind of ways, you may be fine. You, this may not apply to you. This applies to me, and maybe this will help somebody who didn't really realize, and then is like, whoa, this applies to me too. So yeah, if you have back pain and you drink a lot of soda, nine times out of 10, you're aiding in the back pain. Soda, sparkling waters, things with like carbonation. I'm not a doctor, I never pretended that I was and I'm literally just telling you things that I just genuinely do not like to consume because of back pain. It's carbonated drinks. Those carbonation bubbles, they get in your vertebrae, they get in your bones, they get in your blood, and they just make you stiff. And when your joints are stiff, pain comes. You see, carbonated drinks, it's a direct correlation. I remember one time I was like, why is my back hurting like so bad? And then I realized I was on like a, like a icy binge because I don't really like soda. I'm not really about to sit up there and drink like soda, but I will definitely like drink a Slurpee. And this was a few years ago and I, before I like really, really, really realized that, oh, this carbonation is making my back hurt. So do not, and I repeat, do not drink soda. And if you do, don't make it a habit. Kind of just make it, like a special occasion, something not necessarily like every single day because your back will be hurting every single day. Heavy carbs. Okay, so if you ever have like a backache, maybe your knee is hurting, so yeah, you're just having aches and pains, a lot of times it's because you need to take the pressure off your bones. And a lot of the foods we eat just add pressure onto our bones. A lot of the carbs we eat add pressure onto our bones, add fat onto our, extra fat onto our bodies, and then that stuff weighs us down, and then our bones are like, whoa, we can't really keep up because it's like, bruh, this is heavy, what are you giving me? So yes, back pain comes from a lot of the foods that we eat. I'm just letting y'all know. You wanna make sure you're having foods that are low in inflammation, like low inflammatory foods, and these foods are pretty much fruits and veggies, let's be honest, however, there's this like misconception that broccoli is a low inflammation food, but to be 100% honest, broccoli bloats me, and then when I'm bloated, back pain comes. And you know what, I don't know why. When I'm bloated, I feel heavier, and then when I feel heavier, my back hurts. I think, I don't know, broccoli is apparently a low inflammatory food, but it bloats me, and then bloating makes my back hurt, so I don't know. In the comment section below, let me know if you like broccoli, and if it has ever bloated you to the point where your back hurts. Foods that bloat you, so things with a lot of sodium, <laughs> and y'all are about to be like, well, you know, Ngazi, my back be hurting, but I love these foods. I understand, but it's a sacrifice. I realize that my back starts to hurt a little more and I get really, 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 really bloated and like stiff and heavy when I eat a lot of chicken <laughs> and when I eat a lot of like, yeah, just like chicken, like turning around again, we're gonna walk back. A lot of chicken, a lot of foods that are just heavy. Rice, and the funny part is I just love Rice, I mean, Nigel Gale, I love rice, but it bloats me badly. And we already talked about what happens when I get bloated. Let me see. Also, foods that are super cold, they make your back hurt. They make your back hurt. I mean, well, my back hurt. They make my back hurt. Like Slurpees, Icy's. Ice cream is okay, but like things that have carbonation and are cold, huh, 
the devil, the devil for your back. Have you, you know what a stiff back is? The quickest way to find out what a stiff back is is, is sip on a Slurpee all day. Just live, just sip on it. You'll see, you'll see. What other foods? Oh, okay, turmeric. Turmeric is so underrated. Turmeric, if I ever wake up and my back is hurting, or not even necessarily hurting because being stiff, it's not necessarily like a pain, but it's pretty, it's more so like a pain in your ass because it's like you can't move, right? Make yourself some turmeric tea. You get some honey, you get some turmeric, you get some water. You can add cinnamon if you want or whatever else. You think maybe some almond milk, turmeric tea will have you being able to move your body like a snake mom, that's not my favorite song, and that's not my favorite dance move, but after some turmeric, you would know. When I said almond milk, that reminded me, dairy, dairy, cheese, milk. First of all, I don't remember the last time I had like actual, like cow's milk. Dairy will have you bloated and your back hurting. I know, I know. I can guarantee that if I go to the uh, Little Caesars and give me like a $5 pizza and eat the whole thing, let's be honest, it's easy to do that. I can guarantee my back will be stiff and really annoying in the morning. I don't know. I just know that after I eat cheese and dairy, that stuff bloats me and it makes my back hurt. So, what kind of food should you be eating? You should be eating fruits and veggies. If you do like to eat animal, and you know, you want your fish, your shrimp, I would recommend it. They're low density, um, like proteins, they're not necessarily meat, and that's better. Because I don't know what they're actually putting in these chickens and the hormones and everything, but that stuff, my back be hurting. My back hurts after eating like trash. So. Should you just maybe be eating healthy, eating a leaner diet? Yeah. This past week, has my back been getting on my nerves? Yeah. But this past week, have I just been ingesting a lot of sugar and things? Oh, sugar. <laughs> okay. Sugar will make your back, y'all. <laughs> sugar, I'm not gonna say sugar will make your back hurt, but when I start eating a lot, a lot of gummy, just like gum, I love gummy words, a lot of sugars and things like that. Oh, I can guarantee poor skin, that's a whole different video, and a back that's aching. I can guarantee it. In the comment section below, what kind of foods are you eating? Does your back hurt? Do you realize that like sometimes it's some of the foods you're eating? Let me know in the comment section below. If you have scoliosis, do you know anybody with scoliosis? I didn't have the surgery, but I still have my own different types of back pain. Let me know in the comment section below. We got merch. Get you some merch, and I will see you guys next time.